The sun is rising on the Badger State. From the bustling cities of Madison and Milwaukee, where reigning world champions the Bucks rule supreme. Good morning, America. To up north at the Apostle Islands, where these Great Lakes sea caves accessible by boat in the summer turn into temples of ice reachable by foot in the winter. The cranberry is Wisconsin's state fruit, harvesting more than 60% of the nation's crop. We are known as the cranberry capital of Wisconsin. Not to toot our own horn, but we're kind of a big deal. <laughs> In Warrens, the annual Cranberry Festival is the largest arts and crafts festival in the country. Last year, not having Cram Fest was sad for everyone. The pandemic shutting the festival's doors for the first time in nearly 50 years. But now, they're back. I'm just really happy with what is happening at the event this year. Just glad to be back. In Walker's Point, you'll find an eating experience like no other. In 2019, Jesus Gonzalez opened a food truck and placed it in an old used car lot. He now owns that lot, turning it into the thriving Zocalo food truck park. Zocalo is actually a native Spanish word, and it means a plaza, a gathering place. Jesus bringing in hundreds of meals on wheels, cooking up cuisine close to his culture on a mission to spread Hispanic heritage. During the pandemic, he brought in large screens to give the community a safe place to gather. If you come together as a community and you guys commit to one another, you'll get through the hardest times. That's something Gollin Smith, the owner and founder of G's Barbershop, knows all about. A basketball fan's paradise, wall-to-wall -wall decorated with Milwaukee Bucks jerseys and a custom hardwood court floor. So just looking around at first glance, are you a basketball fan? I'm a, huge, I'm a huge sports fan, period, but de basketball definitely, but more so Milwaukee Bucks fan. When the pandemic hit, G used his barbershop to groom his community, offering vaccines and a free clinic in the back of his shop. I just saw so many individuals passing away. The vaccinations seem to be the right choice, and I'm glad that we've been able to vaccinate hundreds of people. We were able to offer something that will definitely heal and help so many people from uh, a possible demise. In America's Dairyland, it's all about cheese. Charcuterie is a business born during the pandemic, founded by sisters Amanda and Molly, who started the business as a pandemic side hustle. I am a graphic designer by trade, and I saw a cheese board on social media, and I thought, hey, I probably can do something like that. Amanda using her skills in graphic design to market her business online. So we're going to take one of these pieces of um, soprasada. Thank you. Her unique charcuterie cones racking up the most cheddar. So through Instagram and Facebook, it really spreads like wildfire around here. Well, Mona Kosarabdi was live here in Milwaukee with us this morning, and we talked to her about her experience in Wisconsin. When I tell you I got the call to come to Wisconsin to feature uh, the state in Rise and Shine, I was so excited. I've worked in the Upper Midwest, so I know that the people here are like no other. We talk about Southern hospitality, but there is Upper Midwest hospitality. So I was excited. I'm a city girl. I love the city. It's been nice to be able to see downtown Milwaukee. We are in front of the art museum right now. but. I was finally able to live out my lifelong dream of being able to milk a cow, got to tour a dairy farm.